is filmmaker David Skato of Jackson. He's with us. Uh, welcome to WJSU, David. Hey, thank you for having me. Now, as a male, why was I Am Woman important to be brought to the screen? I Am Woman is an important film because um, not only does it show the, the aspects of domestic violence and abuse, um, it, show, it digs a little bit deeper and ex exposes the, the ways that a man controls and abuses a woman. Um, and that's why it needs to be shown, because you see that aspect. That's, that's the aspect that's not widely talked about. Um, how a man abuses a woman. So, um, you know, people see this and they realize, wow, so that's what they do. Wow. Now, aside from ending the silence about abuse, what other message resonates from your movie? Um, forgiveness. Um, is, I mean, it, it's a really, really tough story. Um, but forgiveness is pretty much the backdrop. You know, um, the main character goes through a lot of different things and she makes a lot of bad decisions. But in the end, it's all about forgiveness. You know, she, you have to forgive yourself. You have to forgive other people that hurt you in order to move on. You know, if you don't learn how to forgive, you know, don't forget necessarily, but learn to forgive. And therefore, you will move on to a productive future. Well, and, and that's a very good point. Now, do you know of any female or male victims of domestic abuse. I know you just met Shirley, and I'm interested in knowing if you have anything to say to her for that matter, but have you met any people? Do you know personally? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I know a lot of people, and I, I mean, I, I hate to say that, but um, a lot of people I come across, and you'll be amazed at the numbers. Um, statistically speaking, one out of every four women will be abused or have been abused in their lifetime. Um, so I'm pretty sure we all know somebody. We just don't know that they've been abused because, like Shirley, they probably don't talk about it you know you work with them you see them all the time but you will never know you know I have friends family um, um, young and old they'll you know I'll talk to them and once they learn that I'm real passionate about this they'll you know, come you know they'll come to me and and say you know when I was nine years old something happened to me yeah. you know and you'll be amazed at how many well you know I was visiting a church recently and uh, I ran across this gentleman who said that he had been abused he and his daughter had been abused by his wife and that every time the police came by uh the police just dismissed what he was saying because they said oh no you're a man so how could this possibly happen we we don't believe what you're saying so uh he was left just fending himself and and i think uh, to your point people don't want to admit this kind of thing but when he did he didn't seem to get any kind of help so so there is we don't talk about this very much but there is uh abuse on males either mm -hmm. either in uh heterosexual and or homosexual relationships for that matter right oh yes oh yes um the the majority of males that i come across have suffered mental abuse from their spouses um, from their female spouses, you know, um, mental abuse, you're not, you're, you're not anything, you're never going to be nothing, you know, things like that, you know, and, and that is abuse, you know, when somebody's telling you, you know, you're nothing, that's abuse, you know, even, even if it's not physical. Hmm. Now, getting back to your film, when was it released and how can people see it? Well, it's not actually released, um, uh, as far as DVD or anything, but we do do what, what I call free screenings. Um, I'll bring it to your church organization group or whatever and show it for absolutely free. Um, and I'm doing that to really just get the word out, you know. Um, and if anybody wants information about that, they can just go to my website, which is davidskato.com or Google, <clears throat> excuse me, Google David Skato. And the last name is spelled S-K-A-T-O. Well, we appreciate you uh, shining a spotlight on this very uh, important issue. Now, with this being October 31st, today marks the final day of Domestic Violence Awareness Month, but we know that this is something that should be examined year-round. Now, we want to thank you for joining us, uh, David, and certainly we'll be looking forward for a full release of your film, I Am Woman. And we also want to thank uh, Shirley Smith, uh, The Secret Life of a Preacher's Wife, for joining us today. And we ask that you guys hang around because we're going to talk about this a little bit more in our hot topic discussion where we, all of the panel will be able to uh, give their thoughts about.